Um, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, I'm fine, miss. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, very good, miss. Uh, well, we're going to start with um, the video class uh, that I have prepared for you tonight, but um, we must be working on something because uh, Miss Elena told me that most of you haven't achieved at least the 80% of the exercises in the platform. So we're going to be working on the, on the topic that, that corresponds for tonight's class. But also, we're going to have time to uh, see what are some, those um, exercises that you haven't completed uh, or that you haven't solved yet. But um, you must do it uh, this night or, well, at least uh, tomorrow night. Because um, something that uh, she said to us is that you must, uh, well, she sent, she sent us a message. And uh, she said that, um, she said that you need the 80% um, uh, of this of the course and it is so important uh, that you can get that 80 percent because that way you're going to get the certification um of the of the course and uh, also in that way you are going to be available to go to the next uh level so for that reason it's so so important that you can finish a or you can get at least the 80 percent during this night and uh, maybe till tomorrow. So la like the last day, forget that's great. 
um, well, that, that's it. That's uh, an information that I, that's the information that I have for you. Uh, and as I said, we're going to be working on the topic and then we're going to uh, dedicate um, some time to work on those exercises. Well, uh, welcome Mr. Uh, Ramirez, Mr. Gavidia, uh, Ms. Escobar. Welcome. Uh, thanks for joining this, um, to this video conference. Uh, in, in a moment, I'm going to share to you the, the PPT, the PowerPoint presentation. Um, just give me a second, okay? I'm going to do it in a moment. Okay, here I have. Okay, um, here we have a, let me know if you can see the purple presentation, please let me know that. Can you see the purple presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, well, we're going to start with the topic. And uh, first of all, we're going to see the objective uh, that we're going to achieve this night. And it says that by the end of this class, participants, that's, that's me, you, will be able to describe a service performed for them by someone else using have or get. That's the aim, okay, of this, uh, of this class. Um, also, I have a, some, uh, well, I have a quote for you in order to discuss, and it says, the closer to a tree, good chase covers you. The closer uh, to a tree, good chase, uh, che, I mean, covers you. Have you ever listened to these quotes before? Have you ever listened to this quote before? Have you ever listened to this quote before? I mean, um, maybe you, because this is, this is um, a, a saying that is uh, popular in our country, um, but this quote is in English, this uh, saying is in English. So uh, tell me, have you ever listened to that quote before? No, never? Okay, maybe in Spanish you can get it. Uh, it says, the closer to a tree, good chase cover you. Uh, it's something like, um, el que a buen árbol se arrima, buena sombra. Buena sombra lo cobija. Yeah, lo cobija. that one. Okay, <laughs> so uh, with that premise that we have there, uh, tell me, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What is your opinion? Uh, we're going to start with Ms. Campos and then uh, Mr. Ramirez, later uh, Mr. Gavidia, let's see who else, Ms. Escobar, and the last one is going to be Mr. Hey, uh, I think that when you, when you have a good person around you, um, you, you learn a good thing. You have a good look, good look, and everything. We and you have opportunities. You have a experience. You have a very good thing. I think. I think so. Okay. Very good, Mr. Ramirez. Are, ah, okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, when we. We are close to good person. Um, we can uh, we can get um, um, I don't know um, uh, good anything. 
because you are you have a, a good uh, good friends or good person and you can learn that uh, something or you can get some something um, that's it okay thank you sir uh, let's see mr gavidia mr gavidia You are not here, uh, Ms. Escobar? Uh, yes, I agree with Pedro. Okay, yeah. okay, tell us why. Um, I think that three is our friends, our relations, and the shade is uh, what we can learn about them, what we can um, have or, or, yeah, practice their actions, the good actions, the positive thoughts, I think. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, that, that's, that, that's true. Uh, and also I can add that when you get close to uh, people, uh, good people, you are going to receive good advices. But if you get close with um, a people that uh, uh, do not do the things in a good way, you are going to uh, maybe um, change your attitude and you are going to be doing the same things that those people uh, are doing, uh, or uh, well, uh, something can happen to you. Uh, and I mean, like, um, uh, like people will say, oh, I, I thought that this person was different, or things like that. Okay, uh, we're going to we're going to say something else. Let's let's see what Mr. Castillo think about this, Mr. Castillo. Uh, good night. Um, good I, evening, sir. Yes, I think so. Uh, it's a metaphor that represents the loyalty and trust uh, with around the family, friends, or co workers in the job, but it's important have. Uh, this relationship by the construction and the confidence is my opinion. Okay, okay, very good. And that's a good opinion, sir. Um, well, thanks for your participation. Let me see if there is someone uh, that is missing here. No, nobody? Uh, let no. me see. Oh, Miss Contreras. Miss Contreras? Yeah. Okay. Good evening, Miss. Okay. Tell Sorry, us. Be what late. Huh? Sorry, being late. You're late. That means you're joining right now. The closer to a tree good shake over you. Ah. That's me. What? When I, I um, when I uh, be be with people, uh, with good performance or good skills and okay. something I have to learn to the their people. Okay. Something like that. Okay, thank you, thank you, Miss. Yes. Um, do, do you do you mean what the idea, the principal idea? Um, how so? Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, what I mean with this, um, it, it's like uh, if you are if you get close with good people you are going to be a good person, okay? If you get, get close with bad people, you are going to be 
uh, bad person. Why? Because that's uh, what sometimes happens. If we have a uh, good friends, uh, we are going to be good friends too. But if we have bad friends or uh, friends that that um, are not or friends at the end, um, well, we won't have friends and also uh, you are not going to be a good uh, friends too. Um, it's something like that, okay? Um, well, we're going to continue with this and we're going to see um, how we use have or get something done, okay? That's the, the, the topic uh, that we're going to be discussing have or get something done. Uh, first of all, um, have and get. Okay, we're going to be discussing this and, and we have here have and get. And it says that we use causative verbs that because have and get are causative verbs, we want to talk about something that someone else did for us or for another person. It means that the subject caused the action to happen, but didn't do it themselves. Maybe they pay or ask or persuade to other person to do it. Okay, that's the information that we have about causative verbs. Um, how we, how uh, we can interpret this information? Let's see what it says here. Here we have some examples. It says, I cleaned my house. Okay, this means I cleaned, I cleaned it, but uh, I cleaned it myself. Okay, but if we say, if we use causative verbs, um, it's like uh, if I pay someone to clean it, of course, I'm going to say, or I will say, a cleaner clean my house. What happened here? That we, we are using causative verbs, and when we, when we use a causative verb, uh, we are going to be saying like um, the name of the person or, or the person who, who did the things and the action that the person did, okay? We are not uh, doing the action. The, the action was performed by someone uh, else. Maybe I pay for it, I ask for it, uh, or something like that. Check it out this information. It says, but another way, another way is to use causative constructions. So I can also say, I had my house clean. Okay, I had my house clean, but that's not mean that I clean the house. That's mean that someone else cleaned my house. Okay, that is what is causative. Uh, what is causative? Okay. Um, it's like, um, if I want, if I want something, okay, um, we are going to use, uh, the, the subject and, and we're going to use a subject. Okay. And that subject is the person who, uh, uh, performed the action. Okay. Um, no, I'm not the person that I, uh, that performed the actions. It's like uh, the uh, in a sentence, an example of it could be like the musicians play a uh, music. Okay, um, who is who is the, the the subject here? Okay, the musician. And what is the causative? Uh, play. Okay, that it's meant that it's something that happened in the past, but the the people who did it or or, or the causative is uh the construction of that sentence we're going to see more information about it we're going to see more examples of it and um let's see what it says here um in a sense it says that using causative verbs is similar to using a passive okay it's similar the important thing is that the house is now clean but don't focus on who did the cleaning with this um, causative verb, as I said, we have a different subject. Um, in the sentence, we are not focusing on who did the action, okay? Who did the action? Maybe I, I didn't uh, do that, or maybe um, someone else 
did it, uh, but we're not focused on it. What we're going to be focused is the action itself, uh, the action that is happening in that sentence. Um, if I say like, um, well, using the examples here that uh, a cleaner in my house, what is the, the 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 aim of this sentence okay the aim of this sentence is to is to communicate to someone that the house is clean okay that's what we want to say not who will clean the house because we're saying the cleaner but we don't know who is the cleaner just uh, we refer to it by the name of of um of it but uh, in this case like um uh, the the profession of that person <laughs> but no the but no uh, uh, what uh, oh, well i mean uh, who did that okay we're just focused on the action um check it out this okay it says that we usually use have something done when we're talking about paying someone to do something for us, okay? We're going to use have something done when we are talking about paying someone to do something for us. It's often used to for services. The form is the subject plus have plus object plus past participle. Okay, that's in the case you want to use it for uh, for services. Check it out the example that we have here. Uh, it says a how plus object plus past participle. I'm going to use a market in order to identify this part because it's so important that you can know this. Uh, let me see what is it. Um, give me a sec. Okay, here. Uh, check it out this information. I'm going to put this here. Okay. Check it out this information. This is structure. Subject. Okay. How? Object and past participle. The three elements that we always, we have, okay, we always are we going to include is this part. Okay. This part. And it's using have. Okay. Using have the object and past participle. It's also like have something done, okay? Have something done. <clears throat> uh, and here we have an example. It says, it says, check it out this information. It says, John will have his house paint, okay? What is one of the difference that we can see with this sentence? Okay, in this sentence, we are using the uh, um, future tense, okay? We're using future tense, but the structure of the sentence uh, of this, um, well, of the whole sentence is the same. It's, it's uh, have the uh, characteristic of uh, the causative verbs. Why? Because we're using have, we're using the object and we're using the past participle. And what is the past participle? In this case, paint, okay? John will have, check it out this, this is the structure of have, this part, have and have, okay? Um, let me see, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with code. Okay, that's the, 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 the first thing. Then, we have the object. What is the object in this sentence? His house, okay? His house. What is the past participle then? Okay, the past participle of this is? Painted. Paint. 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 Those three elements, we always are, we, well, uh, those three elements has to be included in this kind of sentence, in this type of sentence. Um, and what is called this type of sentence? Remember it, it is, um, well, give me a second, I'm going to move this. This is, this is called, I mean, uh, this is called causative verb, okay? Causative verb. And what happened here? 
Ah, uh, in this part, we are using, um, or, or we would refer to, uh, to use, have something done. Uh, that means that we are paying someone else, okay? Uh, John will have his, his house paint, but uh, who is going to do that? John will pay someone, okay, to paint uh, his house. Uh, that's like um, the, the, the meaning, the, the, the whole meaning of that sentence. John is not the person that, that he is going to uh, paint his house. No, he's going to pay someone else. And that is what is called um, a causative uh, verbs. We're going to see more information on to delete it's thus. It's unnecessary. Just give me a second, clear uh, all drawings. Okay. The same happen with get, okay? With get, it's the same structure there. We're going to use the same structure, but in this case, we're going to be using get. And what happened with get? Um, it says that we can also use subject plus get plus object plus past participle. This has the same meaning as have, okay? This has the same meaning as how, but it's less formal, okay? It's less formal. That means that we won't include it in, um, uh, in, in we won't include it in, in a, a well. We're not going to express some ideas using this structure with a, a well, teachers, professors, a, well, in, in this case, uh, we won't use it in, a, a, in the area of uh, academics, okay? Um, could be like essays, something written. No, we won't use this structure. Why? Because it's uh, a little bit informal, okay? Um, what are we going to use then? Uh, we're going to use the structure that we discussed uh, previously, that is using how. If we use get, we can use it, okay? We can use get, maybe in a talk with someone, okay? But uh, that person has to be like our friend or family or things that we, uh, or, well, or persons that we know well in order to use informal uh, sentences. It's not the same talk, talking with, uh, I mean, if you want to talk with your boss, uh, then talk with your, um, with your friend, okay? It's not the same. The way that you express um, in, in English, it's going to change depending on the person that you are, that, that you are, that you decide to talk about, a, well, whatever thing, a, things. Uh, so, is it clear till now, to, or do you need more information to, in order to construct this kind of sentence? Do you have any yes, questions? Yes, more or less. More or, more or less. less. Okay. Uh, we're going to say that. I think uh, that we need. Uh, I think that we need more examples. <laughs> you need more examples. Yeah, that's uh, that's where we're going to be uh, uh, checking right now. Because um, if you notice, uh, nobody has uh, nobody asked me this, but it's something really important. Uh, check it out this sentence that we have here. In the first sentence, we are using the future tense. In the second sentence, we are using past tense. But if you notice there, we are using the same structure in, in, in the whole sentence. What is What I mean with the same structure? In this case, it's like using get plus object and plus past participle. If we have those three elements, we are using causative verbs. And um, in this case, we have it. Uh, we're using, uh, in the first one, the, the, the ones that we're using, uh, simple future, it says, I will get my hair cut next week. Okay, uh, oh, we can identify. I'm going to use um, my, a pencil on draw to, in order to draw and explain this get okay get we're using get 
object. The object of the sentence is my hair. That's the object. Okay, that's the, the thing that we're talking about. And then we had the past participle. What is the past participle of that? Okay, the past participle of that is cut. Um, next week, this is an extra information, but we have the elements that we want. Element number one, okay, element number two, and element number three. One, two, and three, okay? Uh, get something done. Um, in the sentence number four, we have the pass of get, okay? In this case, we have the pass of get. His washing machine, his washing machine, it's the object, okay, in this case. And fix, what is fix? Oh, fix is, what is fix? What is fix? Participle. The past participle. participle. Okay, the past participle. Um, I'm going to delete all these drawings and uh, let's go to the following slide. Um, look at all this information. Um, it says, how someone do something. How someone do something. Uh, we won't talk about a uh, causative. We also, or we can also use the construction of subject plus hat plus the person that we're, that, that we're talking about plus an infinity. That's another way to use this. It says that this has a very similar meaning to have something done, uh, but it's that, that's not mean the same uh, because it's similar, but not the same. Um, which we have already talked about, but in this time we say, who did the thing, okay? We talk about the person who we asked to do the things for us. Um, and here we have an example, it says, I had the electricians look at my broken light. Uh, what happened with the sentence that we discussed before, okay? Uh, in that type of sentence, we do not specify the person that we pay or that we ask to do the things that we want, okay? It's not specified there. But in this type of sentence, in, in, this, in this part, it says, have someone do something, okay? What does it mean? That in this uh, type of sentence, we know the person that uh, did the action. That's one of the reasons that, 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 that's one of the things that we have to take into account in order to construct this type of sentence. In the first one, in the first example, we don't know the person who uh, did the action, but in this type of sentence that it says, had, some, had someone do something, there we, we know who did the action. And check out the examples that we have here. Because um, in this part, uh, in the, the formula that we have here, it says, have plus person plus infinity. Check it out this part, person, okay? The person, uh, if we go to the previous slide, we're going to see, check it out this, we're going to see in this one, we are not using uh, the person who did the action, we are using an object. In an object could be um, uh, something general in, in, in about the things, could be something general, um, and and we are not specifying there who did the action. In this case, yes, we we use it and and check out this information. The, the, well, at least the first example that we have here, it says the doctor will have the nurse call the patients. Okay, um, I'm going to use uh, uh, the pencil again, and let's see. Uh, the doctor, in this case, we identify the subject, will have, that means have in this case, have this part, someone. Who is someone? Ah, someone is the nurse, okay? What he did, okay, what he did? He called the patients, okay? Called the patients. That's what it's called. Um, 
causative verbs because we are, we uh, didn't do the actions. Someone else did it for us. Is it clear what I'm saying, guys? Hello? Is it clear? Kind of? No? See? <laughs> Tell me. More or less, teacher. <laughs> more or less, more or less. Let's see what happened with the exercise that we're yeah. going to be developing. Uh, let me see. I'm going to put it right now. Give me a second. I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to play a video right now, and then we're going to be discussing if you have any, any question about this topic. Just give me a second, because uh, I'm looking for it, because I, I can find it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pay, uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to play um, a video. Please pay attention to it. Uh, if you can't, if you cannot listen, please let me know. Um, I'm going to play it just a moment in order to see if, if you can listen the audio, okay? Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you. Can you, can you listen the audio? Yeah. Okay, very good. Then. Um, well, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the entire uh, video and then we're going to be discussing. This is a video that you have in a platform, uh, but uh, we have to work on it, okay? So pay attention to it. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus, have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? 
You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles is optional to use at or buy. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here we have the first, the first, uh, well, the first sentence, and it says, I have my computer burned. Over half. Okay, okay. We're going to check the sentence later, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, just one of you shared the, well, two of you shared the, the, the sentence. Uh, well, we're going to discuss that later. We're, I'm checking the, the sentence that you, that you sent. Okay, um, the, the idea of this type of sentence is to create a sentence uh, uh, or to construct a statement that, uh, about something that you want to get uh, done, okay? Something that you want uh, uh, that happen for you using, uh, using that structure. And I'm seeing, uh, for instance, uh, the, first, the first sentence that I have here, it says, I have my computer burned, okay? That's what you want with your computer, sir? No. <laughs> no? Okay, we have, we have to think about something that we want. I need to fix. Okay, I, uh, it's like I, uh, well, you can construct something like, like, like that using fix. That's, that's okay. Sorry, teacher, I can't listen to you. Oh, okay. That you can use that sentence, but you can construct a sentence like expressing what you want with your computer. I will give you an example of it. Maybe you can say, I will have my computer fixed. Okay. In that way, you have a causative a sentence. Okay. okay. I will have my computer fixed because that's something that you may want. Okay. Uh, the same happened with the second sentence that it says, I have my house paid, okay? Must be causative. Uh, it could be like, I will have my house paid. But remember to use, um, to use that structure, but you have to express what you want. Okay, no, they, no we, we don't have to express it in, in, this, in this type of sentence, okay? We don't have to express the things just uh, in, in general. We must express something that we want uh, to, something that we want to be or, or to see complete. Uh, let me see the other example. It said, hey, we'll have invent the new faster cell. Uh, they will have in invent the new foster cell. Uh, in this case, could be like, they will have the new foster cell, okay, we're using an object, the new foster cell, uh, uh, well, invent, but in this case must be uh, um, past participle, okay? Must be past participle in that way. If you have just three sentences, what about the rest? We are nine here and I'm waiting for your sentences. Uh, let me see. Mr. Mrs. Escobar. Uh, Ms. Monterrosa. Do you complete the sentence? Ms. Monterrosa? Mr. Castillo, Mr. Lopez, Mr. Gaviria. Miss Rivas. Uh, for example, and uh, mm -hmm. in the medicine, we will have discovering a new. Uh, oh, okay, check it out the sentence. You will have. You will have. 
I will have discovered. Discover. Okay. We have to change that. Instead of using discover, we must use an object. Try to use an object. Instead of using a discover, you must like uh, create a, a causative. Uh, you will have, you will have, think about an object. Think about an object. Or well, maybe I can give you an example. Uh, it could be like, you will have a, your, like, your truck, okay? Like your truck. You will have your truck and think about a past participle verb that uh, can uh, that may match or can match with with that sentence you will have your truck and think about a a, a past participle verb what could be mr castillo Troll. you will have your truck Troll. Yes, like your truck, like your, it's like, a, 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 maybe I can describe it like, like a small car, you know, your a truck. You know what is a truck? Do you know what is a truck, sir? Um, no? Don't worry. Is a quickly uh, or I don't know in the complement is a quickly in, in the Must be a past Okay, uh, I, I, I'm going to help you. It says like you will have your truck um, fixed tomorrow. Okay, you will have your truck fixed tomorrow. They, we are expressing in, with that sentence something that uh, have to be completed or will be completed by someone. Like, uh, uh, for instance, uh, Mr. Pedro, okay, Mr. Pedro will have his truck fixed tomorrow, okay? That's what Mr. Okay. Pedro want, okay? I don't know if, if this is clear what, what, what uh, I'm saying here. Let me see. Uh, here I have some other examples that says like, uh, let me see. I will have my clothes washed. Very good, uh, Mrs. Escobar. That's the, the type of sentence that we're looking for. Uh, Mr. Ramirez, I will get my computer fixed tomorrow. Very good, excellent. That way we have a causative sentence. Uh, Mr. Lopez, it says Peter will have his laptop repaired tomorrow. Very good, amazing. That's a good example. Uh, Ms. Campos, the car flying uh, will, will have invent maybe in five years. Mm. Like, but, but there is something missing. Is it, it, the, the sentence uh, here it's, uh, means something. We must include an object. Uh, it could be like someone will have a, the flying cart, or could be like that, or a, someone will have the, we have. Like, mm, but must be something like uh, has to be done. Uh, to be like, uh, uh, let me think. Ah, could be like this. Uh, someone will have his fl his flying car invent maybe in five in five years. Okay, uh, in that way, because we must use an object. That's, that's the thing that, check it out, the, the, the slide that we have here, and I'm going to use this. Uh -huh. Exactly.
but we must use this have but in, in the case of your sentence miss campos we must include an object that's what is missing there and then we're going to use the password simple in that way we're going we can construct a sentence let me see uh mr gaviria my friend will receive his pay by this weekend mm -hmm. uh, this event will get will get good comments uh mr gaviria but uh, mm, i think that we must change uh part of that sentence because must be causative uh, there we're used in the first sentence for instance we are not using get either have okay uh it could be my friend will have uh will have his pay by this weekend mm -hmm. could be like uh well no i can find any, any solution about this sentence because we must use have plus subject plus past participle maybe in the second one we can try in the second one it's like this event will get good comments uh john will get and this event oh no but we must use past participle well in this first sentence and the second sentence, we must construct, Mr. Gaviria, we must construct a sentence using have plus subject plus past participle, okay? There we, in the first sentence, for instance, we are not using have, either get. In the second one, we're using get, but the purpose of that get, it's no a, a causative a thing. Um, I need to clarify something with the construction of this kind of sentence. And it's like, um, um, if we want to, if we want to uh, uh, express something or, or in, in a causative way, uh, we must include, um, we must include have and also an object. And after that object, we're going to use a past participle okay that's the like, like the for, formula in order to construct if we want to get if we want to, if we don't want to use how we can use get and but the formula it's going to be the same okay instead of using how i can use like, like this instead of using how i can use get but the structure it's going to be the same uh, I don't know if this is clear in that way, guys. Is it clear? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. Okay. Um, in this sentence, bye. In this sentence, um, I can use like a subject. I can, I can, uh, I can write it here like a subject. Okay, if, if I use a subject, I can identify this like John, that is the subject, a have or get, in this case, that is have, but using future, will have, okay. Then the object, remember, this is something important too, using the object, that is house, and the past participle. I think using this uh, row, we can identify those elements subject okay the subject plus will have plus his house plus paint or maybe a have had in past okay or got in past uh, it's uh, that's depend uh, the the type of sentence that we want to use could be like future future could be like pass, okay? Or could be like present. Sorry for, for my writing because I'm using, I'm using my mouse. Okay. Teacher, I have one question for you. Okay, go ahead. In, in the 
in the part of have mm -hmm. are we going to use always the future no no, no. or That's what past I'm... or present we can use whatever we want we can use whatever we want the structure that we want the the thing that we must skip is the is the, have, the, is have. Yeah, exactly we must use have. okay so so i can say my mom it's going to have her hair done exactly that's that that's it that's an a causative sentence yes mm, okay 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 thank you okay uh well that's uh, how we construct uh, this type of sentence uh if you have any question please let me know uh in this in this space because we'll have already uh, finished this class uh, and we're going to be discussing a different topic tomorrow maybe i'm going to 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 do a, a review about this topic but tomorrow we're going to discuss a different one so uh, do you have any other question guys do you have any other question i'm fine teacher not teacher okay me. no teacher okay sir thank you uh, what about the I'm sorry, what about the rest? See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. you, you, don't have, you don't have any questions. You just say, see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like, like I'm tired. Like, I want to leave. Okay. Uh, very good, guys. So if you don't have any question, uh, it's okay. Maybe um, you, you, if you have any question, you can share it there in the WhatsApp group. I will be answering. I, I sometimes I won't answer there because uh, you help each other. I, I'm seeing that uh, when someone asks, uh, someone else uh, answer that question or, or that exercise. That's good. You can do it if you have an answer. Uh, and this is important because it can, it can uh, this this idea can help uh, to everybody. If you have an answer about a, a specific exercise. And you see that someone uh, right there in the WhatsApp group and asked about that exercise, and you have already solved, you can share information there in order to complete those exercises. Okay, and it's good uh, to do it in that way. Don't worry. Okay. Um, and well, that's it. Uh, blessings for all of you. Thanks to thanks a lot for being here. Uh, I'm seeing that. Uh, it, well, tonight connect, you connect uh, around uh, eight people, and that's good. Um, please, 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 uh, and, I, uh, and I will, um, uh, uh, I will be checking that information there in the WhatsApp group. And I will be asking there, please complete at least the eighty percent of the exercises. Do it, do it today. Uh, or maybe tomorrow before eight uh, o'clock, because we need that you can, we need uh, the 80% of your, of, of your progress. And we need that you can complete all those exercises during these two days. Uh, please do it, don't forget it, and blessings to all of you. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Night. Night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 night.